Hi everyone, this is Boomer here, and do not adjust your sets, I am back with a video. Now, for those of you who are quite uh, observant, you'll see that this is a crystalline catastrophe video, but what I actually wanted to do with this on Star Trek Online was really give you guys a sort of update as to where I am at the moment and what's been happening over the past sort of six months or so. Yeah. Basically, what happened was I ended up uh, going to Gibraltar in about uh, July or August last year and before I left for that my desktop computer that I use for recording most of my uh, LPs just completely fragged itself. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a massive GPU failure and to be fair the computer was six years old so it really wasn't worth updating it so it became a situation where I had to just buy a new PC and at the time, I didn't really have the spare cash to be splashing out on a new PC, so I finished the Free Space 2 LP that I did on my laptop, mainly because somehow the guys at the Free Space Open project managed to get that thing to work on a laptop and still look really good. So I'm sort of forever grateful to those guys, and I will be continuing doing Free Space 2 work. As you can see, this video is in 1080p, and it's also... Uh, pretty smooth as you can see Star Trek Online looks a lot more uh, you know it looks a lot nicer than it did on my previous videos that's because I uh, pushed the I wouldn't say I pushed the boat out too much I didn't go down like the Titan route or anything like that uh, I basically went down a computer that was a best bang for buck that I could get um, ended up with an 8 core processor and an Nvidia 770 card so as you can see that's doing things quite nicely as far as this game goes. I'm recording live in 1080p with pretty much no frame drop. So what I plan to do is I'm still very much into retro gaming even though my computer now is pretty much capable of playing everything on max resolution with no drop. Um, I will still be doing quite a bit of retro gaming. Good old games. I did say I wasn't going to do a Dungeon Keeper 2 LP and that I couldn't play the D for Dungeons. However, good old games being the scumbags that they are recently rele released Dungeon Keeper Gold as a freebie and Dungeon Keeper 2 I think was something like $1.49 or something like that. So. Uh, that might be coming out. I also do have further plans for games. Additionally, Caravel Gaming, the channel that I own along with uh, Ribbo, is currently hit. I think it's currently hit about 5,000 subscribers, maybe a bit more. Uh, so we will be going. Uh, we will be developing that channel as well, linking in our own channels. But don't worry, I will still be doing other stuff on my uh, other stuff on my own. Um, so there's really a lot of stuff that I can be doing with my channel coming up. Um, I honestly think that I can, uh, you know, I can produce video live now, which really helps. Uh, I will still be doing some post-processing, but obviously my system at this point is way faster than my previous one, so therefore the post-processing shouldn't take that long even for 1080p. Uh, you can see me using the Cisco method here, which is to take your ship, which probably costs around 100 million energy credits, and ram it down the crystalline entity's throat. Um, as I said, this is just a quick run-through at the moment. I'm basically using this as a background to discuss how uh, how things are going. Uh, for those of you who are interested, this is still the Sathanus. I haven't replaced it with a uh, fleet ship yet. However, it is pretty heftily upgraded from its last incarnation. Uh, even as a science officer, I'm doing about 10k DPS now, although I'm not doing that to the crystalline entity. Still got pretty good survivability though, as you can see, I can tank the uh, crystalline entity shockwave. But yeah, that's pretty much where I uh, am with the channel at the moment. I am going to start doing production again. Um, it was simply a case of getting this new computer together, and as you can see, it looks like it's all come together quite nicely. Um, I have tested all the Dungeon Keeper games, they work perfectly. Uh, I have tested a few other games, they all work perfectly. I have 166 games on Steam, I believe, as well, so there is plenty of stuff for me to go through. So, for those of you who have hung on, thank you very much for doing so. 
and um, I hope to be producing content for you guys fairly quickly so keep an eye out on this channel and on Caravel Gaming for more uh, for more content and uh, as you can see there yep it's a random first place in crystalline entity so therefore i also won the uh, i got the shattered award there and to be honest i think that was probably a pretty bad run but um you know can't have everything and uh, well actually in this case i can have everything because i ended up winning however guys that's it for this short video it's good to be back and uh, hopefully i will be seeing some of you guys around in the future so take care and i'll see you next time and thank you for watching